Phil, you just told me there's some cool new updates about the Anchor Solix X1, the features which are better than what was previously advertised. Yeah, so um, the product is actually now both hybrid and AC coupled, are both IP66 rated. So you're getting that extra little bit of, uh, of protection against the elements. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism for you. Your team, super busy dealing with customer service inquiries, but also integrating with other companies to improve the customer experience. Um, I think Amber is reasonably close to integration. Correct. Uh, yep. So, uh, you know, we, we understand that uh, VPPs are really sort of that next step beyond getting the hardware. In New South Wales, we do have a VPP uh, rebate that consumers can access up to a certain uh, storage size. So we are working on integrating with multiple virtual power plant providers. Amber is, should be done um, sort of in the next few weeks as of like mid-October 2025. Uh, we're investigating the next few um, large energy retailers after that to, to make sure that we're on all their plans as well so that customers can take full advantage of the renewable investment in their home. Cool. And uh, I aim to be trying out Amber and hopefully Glowbird and perhaps some of the others, but mainly those two because those are the ones that viewers have told me they're most interested in learning about how they work with the Solix X1 battery. So what we're gonna find as well uh, coming into the summer months, the performance in our battery doesn't derate until 55 degrees Celsius. Wow, so like you could live in far north of WA or Queensland and you'd still be fine even on the hottest days of the year, which is really important because with climate change, temperatures keep rising, maximums keep getting rehit each year or two, and you don't wanna have a battery that derates means it loses performance and capability right correct yeah yeah, yeah essentially yeah you're running at half throttle almost um but i'm actually heading to, to darwin next week to to see some of our sales guys up there uh, and to take the product to there so i mean if we're, we're confident to sell it in some of the most extreme conditions in in darwin then i'm pretty confident in, in sydney and victoria and mel and um and queensland that we're going to have, have a, a great summer ahead Cool. And uh, some other competitors, people can check for themselves. They derate at much lower temperatures like 40, 45, 50. So this one over the lifespan of 10 years or more, most likely, will perform better than those. Uh, speaking of like how extreme weather ready they are, what, what's the externals? Like even the even the wall mount I noticed is made of solid metal. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the construction and the so the general design is all taken from uh, the learnings that Anchor brings from its consumer goods. So, you know, Anchor is an enormous consumer uh, products maker, so phone chargers, uh, camping batteries, the Eufy brand are all, all fall under the Anchor Innovations company. And we take a lot of learnings from those products. I was looking through the Anchor app, Phil, and I noticed there's a section for an EV charger. And I know you're going to tell me all about the new Anchor Solix X1 AC. Is it seven or 11 kilowatts? Uh, 7 and 22 for the three phase. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, we'll see that at All Energy in Melbourne, which I'm going to attend in a few weeks, and Phil will show us that uh, charger live, which will be pretty cool. And there's also a section for heat pumps. Does that mean Anchor's going to have a heat pump soon? Yeah, so in terms of you know building in some additional value down the line, what we're really interested in is uh, now that people are getting batteries in, in big numbers, what can you do with them? You know, there are large uh, appliances in the home, passive appliances like swimming pools and hot water heaters and EV chargers that do take up a lot of power that if we integrate with those in the future, we're building in additional value on top down the line for our customers. So we are investigating wider partnerships with local manufacturers of heat pumps and swimming pool pumps. And uh, we are bringing out our V1 car charger, which we'll see soon. Um, and we will look to build in that additional value so that way our customers can absolutely drain the most out of their solar panels. Nice, and get sort of good value for their investment in their Solix X1 battery because the software will keep getting upgraded and adding new features and integrations over time. It's not just here it is and that's how it's gonna be for the next 10 years. Correct, effectively, and it's not quite the right way I'd, I'd word it, but as you get it today, that's the worst the app is gonna be. It will upgrade and have further integrations and Anchor has products overseas as well that we're investigating for Australia, like smart plugs um, that could benefit the consumer even further. Thanks for liking, subscribing, 
and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.